The school has been in existence for over 42 years and caters for nearly 90 students from all across Meath, Cavan, Loud and Dublin. And Minister, they cater from every geographical point in the county. So I met parents from Old Castle this week in the north of the county uh, beside the Cavan border and they have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning so they can travel to this school and 60 kilometres away in Ballinabracky at the far end of the county where you can book a ball into Offaly there are children doing the same thing. These children with some acute special needs are spending maybe an hour and a half on a bus to get to school. Now they're grateful that there is a school to go to in the first instance but what they would like is the new school that has been promised to them now on several occasions. A school that is not just surviving in an old adapted, antiquated building where some students are having to attend in a different HSE-owned building a mile down the road because there isn't enough room on the site where they are. Last summer, uh, Minister Bruton, who was then the Minister for Education, visited the school along with three fellow government ministers from Mead. Now, the Mead Chronicle weren't buying the photo shoot moment. They captured the mood perfectly when they ran a front page the following week with the headline that screamed, Build our school now, Minister. And as they said on their front page, Despite the visit of four government ministers last week, staff and parents of 90 pupils of St Mary's Special School in Navan look set to wait another 18 months before work starts on their new building promised seven years ago. Now, the parents I met from the school this week, Minister, want to know why has there been such a delay? What is the log jam? And when will a shovel actually go into the ground for construction to start? One mum who I met this week, Tracy Hollisgrove, she said she could be named here today, wanted to know, Minister, when was her little girl, Fanula, going to get the same facilities, the same opportunities afforded to the rest of the children currently on the new educational campus? Her daughter leaves Old Castle at half past seven for school in Navan at nine because it is the only facility available and has done this commute since she's five. She's 12 now. But if Tracy knew that when Fionnula got to school that she had a dedicated, purpose-built, soft playroom to enjoy, then she'd have a weight lifted from her shoulders. There are so many parents that have seen their children progress through these outdated facilities over the past four decades and they are now fighting for the current crop of students and staff at the school so that perhaps they might get to enjoy the planned new school and have the dignity they deserve in receiving their education. And I would hope, Minister, that you could have some positive news on when this school is going to commence.